Hi everyone, welcome back to more shenanigans. I'm back at Box Hill. It's a really warm October day, near the end of October. Beautiful day. We'll go back down there later on. The view down to Dorking. And today, I'm on the lookout for a folly. Now I've done videos from Box Hill before, uh, which I'll link below. But I'm after a folly. I'm looking for a folly. Broadwood Folly, which I missed last time because I took the wrong route. So let's see if we can try and find it today. Let's go. Now I've got some instructions here because I know I took the wrong turning before, so I want to make sure I take the, the right turning, um, which I think is here. Yeah, I think it's that way to the tower. Nature Pro Box Hill Hike. Um, well, we're soon going to find out, aren't we? It's parallel to the zigzag road, the famous zigzag road, which was used in the uh, London Olympics back in 2012 as one of the cycle lanes. I can hear the zigzag road and traffic just there, so um, I think we are in the right route if we're not it's still a pleasant walk in box hill loads of people here because obviously box hill is a very very popular place in the southeast um and the views down to dorking so um we'll carry on and hopefully but i think i came this way before but i'm sure i went the other route oh well we'll soon find out This great structure for the kids, I think, made out of old tree trunks. It's great, isn't it? It's like a little installation, a wood installation. Very cool. Right, onwards with the walk. Oh, it's nice to walk through this. I've said this this cathedral of trees is rather cool. Let's call it that cathedral of trees. The structure over there, very cool. We seem to be going down, although the structure is at the top of Juniper Hill. So. It must be going the right way. I'm sure it's actually on the Box Hill hike. And here, we've got um, signs for the Box Hill hike. So we must be on the right path. Hmm. I think Box Hill became famous around the Edwardian times for people in Epsom and London to come down and reap the benefits of nature. It's called Box Hill because of the box trees. Um, I always wondered that as a kid why it's called Box Hill, but now I know. The sun's peeking through very nice through the trees. Right, so where are we now? Happy Valley Trail, Box Hill Hike. I still hope I'm on the right place. It seems to be. Oh well, we'll soon find out. Fantastic view. Some Barnabas uh, Church in the distance at Ranmore, which I've done videos from. The zigzag road behind us. So I'm in the general direction of the folly, I'm just not quite sure where it is. Um, yeah. Well, we'll carry on down that way a little bit because I'm sure it's down here. 
it's so calm, really nice. Only comes a plane overhead. Yes, and found it. Ruwood folly. So I never a closer look, eh? Built by Thomas Broadwood, who bought Juniper Hill around 1850, 1820, around that time. So he could view his tower from the hall. Of course, Juniper Hall was famous during the French Revolution, of housing uh, dignitaries from France. But yeah, have a look inside. There used to be a tree inside but the National Trust had to take it down because it was uh, threatening the, the structure of the tower where the roots were getting really into the stonework. All pieced together with lime, we've also got Brockham Lime Works nearby, so I imagine the lime came from there. Yeah. And there, you can see on the GoPro, that's Juniper Hall down, down the bottom. It's also Grade 2 listed. Yeah. Finally found it after all these years. OK, we've seen the tower, so what we're going to do now is pop over to the viewpoint, looking over Dorking and the South Downs. Very famous um, uh, viewpoint, which I've done videos from before, but it's so spectacular. And it's a lovely day as well, so we'll sure see you quite far. Let's go. They're really cool, these little uh, wooden structures, these little installations uh, along the Box Hill hike. Amazing. I just imagine kids are going to have great fun with this. <laughs> over the 15th and it's really hot which is really nice <sighs> right now we'll go down to the uh, viewing point of course there's so much lycra today this is a very famous cycle route for the lycra lads and lasses Here we go. Look out at Solomon's Memorial. So you've got Dorking down there, it's Dorking, then you go down to the South Downs and Gatwick Airport. Trig point just there. This is all on the other video, so I just wanted to sort of bring you here and show you the view because it's spectacular. Lots of people about. As we're here, we're going to go and have a quick look at the um, at the fort. Why not? Here it is, just down this little stoned trackway. Yeah, 
a last ditch attempt to save the British Empire. They're built in the late 1800s during the crisis in British history. It's part of the London Defence Scheme, which is a last ditch attempt to save the capital of the Empire. So just like Rygate Fort nearby, never really got used. But it's, uh, it's a lovely ruin. I don't know how much information they could give actually, but I think they should turn these into little museums. But as they didn't really see much action, or really any action at all, what's there really to say? Obviously they're not really that old, but yeah. Bits of graffiti is still on the building, which is a bit of a shame. But uh yeah, showing the car. It's not really in disrepair or anything, really. But it'll uh, be worth doing something with it, surely. Yeah. The doors are shut, of course. Can't really see much going on in there. But there you go. A little video to Broadwood Tower folly is at an end. Hope you've enjoyed this lovely walk. I mean, it's so warm now. Really lovely. So if you like the video, please like, subscribe, all that normal stuff. Tell me your Box Hill stories as well. And we'll see you on the next one. Take care, guys. Mm -hmm.